Yeah. Dr. Yilmaz performs three heart operations a day in this hospital in Hasselt in eastern Belgium. He treats patients who have a stenosis, the medical term for a blockage, in one of their main arteries. Coronary bypass surgery means that we will uh, bypass a stenosis of a coronary. The coronary is a vessel that runs above the heart and gives blood to the heart. So when this is the vessel, there's a stenosis over here, we take a graft or a vessel and make a bypass after the stenosis. The current way of doing a coronary bypass is by using a saw like this to open up the chest bone to give full access to the heart. It leaves a large scar, but that's not done here anymore. Dr. Yilmaz, who moved to Belgium from Turkey with his parents when he was three years old, is using a small opening between the ribs and three keyholes on either side of the patient's body to perform this complex operation with cameras. For this kind of surgery, the heart is stopped and a machine takes over. They're also using this technique to replace aortic valves in the heart, which has traditionally been done through open heart surgery. We've been really lucky to be granted access to the operating theatre, so it's masks on and in we go. This new way of doing these kinds of heart surgeries is said to greatly improve the recovery period for the patient. And crucially, if it becomes common practice, it would also make it significantly cheaper. Patients will often leave the hospital within five days of having the operation, which is more than twice as fast as when the chest bone is opened. And Dr. Yilmaz says many of the people he operates are back at work within five to six weeks, when it would normally take up to a year. He says many doctors in his field do not accept this new method because they don't have enough hand-to-eye coordination, unlike young surgeons who've grown up playing computer games. The first or second generation of cardiac surgeons are in the late 50s, uh, early 60s, who cannot do this, so they are resistant to this. And the younger ones who are willing to can't do it because their chief says no. That's the whole problem. We reached out to the Belgian Association for Cardiothoracic Surgery, but it declined to comment on the surgery being performed by Dr. Yilmaz. They've been doing these operations here for three years and say they hope other surgeons around the world will soon take up the practice. Jack Parrick, TRT World, Hasselt, Belgium.